Okay, uh, this video is to demonstrate uh, the financial reports app I've made for Arbiton International. Uh, this splash screen here was created by me. I'm now doing uh, UI graphics as well. If, if you're designers, if you don't have designers or whatever, I can do them. Usually they've been supplied to me, but uh, I made all of these myself and I think they look good. Um, first thing to note is the help section here. Just tells you how to use the app and an email link there to the support and in the top left here L22 means live 22 it's it's read the uh, file from the server and it knows that there's 22 reports live on there um, and D1 means uh, downloaded one it's checked the internal storage and it's found that we have already downloaded one of these live reports to our download report section now the purpose of this app is to provide a way of presenting the financial reports without them being easily shared the company would lose money and has lost money by people emailing them to each other uh, and th that's not what they want they want uh, one person to have to pay for the reports and only they can look at them so this app is the solution because you can't copy and paste in the app you can't share it on Facebook or email you can't do anything you can only get in if you have paid for a subscription and your email address is on the uh, the actual list of users and this stops the piracy of their apps basically so um, you can see if I try and log in there I'm not verified and you have to email them and get your name on the list um, but I'm going to verify now so I'm going to pause it because uh, it's, it's a password so uh, two seconds okay so I'm in now and you can see there's 22 reports this is one of two you can smoothly scroll through them like that this is the bookcase view and the yellow ones are the ones I've already downloaded um, and the indicator at the bottom you can see is moving along although I didn't anticipate so many reports because this has been live for six months or so and it's going slightly off the edge probably issue a small fix for that but as you can see it's quite pretty and the list view here uh, is the same information exactly but represented in a list so possibly easier to look at and the yellow one again is the downloaded ones so if I go to the bookcase view let's say I uh, go to the first report because that one is the latest this is slightly hard to do on the emulator but working quite nice so let's say I'm interested in today's report in fact this is live today I click on that it goes in it downloads the report from the FTP server right now and the report could not be downloaded I wonder if they've uploaded it um, This relies on the administrator to actually keep one file that points to all the reports and then the reports themselves. And if the administrator doesn't do that, then sometimes it doesn't download. Or of course, there's also the chance that the networking just failed, which happens now and again. So you can search these reports. If I look for Apple, it'll find every instance of <coughs> Apple. Um, where's this one? There's Apple there, and uh, Apple there, Apple Insider, Apples. But uh, on the real device, these actually, any instance of Apple highlights in a yellow box. I'm not quite sure why it's not happening on the emulator, but it makes it very clear for searching if you can see the yellow box. And you can go previous through the uh, previous mentions of Apple by clicking that, and next ones. So you can search internally and you can get rid of that and you can download the app which is now stored in the internal storage for later let's say you're on a, going on a train journey and you've got Wi-Fi you might want to download 10 of these so you can read them on the journey and there's an overall search view here as well which searches all of the actual reports themselves which means it has to go through and download every report search for the existence of the word Apple and then if it's there bring it back up on this list screen and then if we want to uh, find the 
specific information about Apple, we go into the report and we search just like I did there. So this might take some time to download uh, these reports. Um, I will pause it until it's finished downloading. Okay, so it's come back uh, after downloading them all and it's found all the ones with Apple in them. Um, highlighted the ones that we already have and, and we, click, we can click on any of them to go in and look further. So that's quite a good way of uh, searching the reports and you can turn that on and off by clicking that. And the bookcase view. So we know we have um, a couple of these downloaded. So we go back out and up here it'll say Live 22 and Downloaded 2 to reflect how many you've downloaded. If you go into Downloaded Reports now, these are the ones that we have downloaded. They don't need to be yellow because obviously we already have them in Downloaded. So there they are, and uh, we can view one of them. And it doesn't need to download because it's coming from the internal storage actually. And same as the other reports, we can zoom in and it will reformat itself. And the code for viewing uh, live and downloaded reports is basically identical code, just draws from a different source. And um, instead of being able to download them, we can delete them up here. So if you do this, it'll remove it from your internal storage and it will no longer be downloaded. And now you can see we've got only one of one. Um, and we have a list of these reports and we can search in exactly the same way as before. Search for Apple. There's only one report it has Apple in it, so it comes up. And then I can I could search for Apple again. And like I say, the real version highlights every instance of the word Apple um, instead of just bringing you to it like that. It does bring you to it as well. And you can go out of this. So if I delete that, I have no downloaded reports. And it'll go back to the main screen here, live 22, downloaded 0. And that is the crux of the app. Thanks very much for watching.